Welcome to another mega exciting five minute auto pairing. So, Wolverine playing English opening. So, D4 here. Right, so rook d1, and then that looks good in the center. Looks like a nice position. Four is okay. E four, yeah, just stop him from playing E four. I'll play C five later. This looks great. So rook A E one knight F five. Oh, queen B six could be a pain. Queen, get this off. Knight f5, get that light square bishop potentially. Well, that g file that looks pretty good to get the g file. And there's bishop f3, rook g1. Uh huh. Looks to be a bit loose. F6. And there's knight g3, back to d4. Knight g3 maybe is interesting. Um, okay, so what's the idea? I get behind e5. If I get behind e5, hmm. Five or G five, which one? F five gives up the E five square. G five, I think, gives up squares as well. I don't want to give up too many squares here. I've got reinforcement of E four. I just nudge this one away. Overprotect E four by getting rid of my opponent's pieces. Influence E four. Oh, it's an idea. Just play for B four. Maybe B five. Oh. Rudy interrupted. And this e5 in this position is working. Um, does it do anything? It gives me the e4 square for a moment. Um, knight a4 protects e5. Knight e4. Yeah. So maybe knight d6 after. So if I take on b3, then there's knight d6. Does this do anything? Well, it's a nice looking position still, but I've lost the pawn. <laughs> if I take on c, I weaken that diagonal. So if I had h4, g5, bishop h3, that would have been something there. Um. D6 is actually loose. Well, I can always take on C8, so maybe I'll do that. Bishop E8. Knight E4 to F6. Yeah, 
Yeah, I can't lose that bishop. I mean, um, as well lose the rook instead. Uh, taking this knight of six after. Or knight of six here. Check. Right. So we'll take on e1. Oh, there's rook d6. Hmm. I think I want to get him to take on f6, actually. Check. Take on f6. All right, this h file then. So, like, bishop move for rook h2. Like, bishop takes c6. For rook h2. So, yeah, interesting. Um, there's bishop d5 as a result of that. Rook h2, bishop d5. Play rook h2 first. Um, there's e6 for this, this bishop on this diagonal. Takes one, e7. Um, e6 here takes on c6, e7. That looks dangerous. If he takes here, rook e6, takes on c6, knight f7. Uh, anything else? Check. Okay, or bishop d5. Bishop d5 might be interesting. Um. Knight takes f7. These pawns look good. I think that might be interesting enough. Knight takes f7 after. Or e6. Hmm. Don't want to get too short on time. I think these pawns and that bishop would be really good. I think we'll try and eliminate this bishop on b2. Knight d3, e6. Hmm. I don't really want my bishop to be lost there. If I can get it on that diagonal, that'd be cool. Uh, do I really want to play e6? Takes e7. Is that actually queening? It looks to be knight d3, e6, takes on b2, e7. He'll, he'll sack the rook to get rid of that pawn. His knight takes f7 as well. It's dangerous. By that stage, ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, he's closed up that diagonal. That's unfortunate. I take this for f7. I've got that past f pawn. Check. Right. Do I want to play F7? F7 might be dangerous. Rook B3 might be good. Knight takes B7 might be good. F7. Or Knight takes B7. There's Knight C5. Let's check. Knight takes c5. Well, I'll get around here. Nope. Alright. Okay. Over here. For rook h8. Knight f7. Quick. Pre move time nearly. It's a good position. Get over here. Check. Check. Oh, okay, 96. Just keep the pressure. Time. Ah, no. 94. Check. 
Check. So G5. Check. Get the rook out of the way. Check. Check. Whoa! What a game! This guy's fun to play recently. Oh! Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Something went badly wrong there. A3, I think, was the uh, terrible move, I suspect. It was an okay position up till this point, yeah? So queen b6 is better now. What am I doing here? Knight a4, it's a bit desperate. Yeah, so I think I'm starting to make things worse. Look at that evaluation dropping to black. But the fun position. Knight b6, okay, knight b6. I mean, it's difficult. This is good as well. Oh, bishop g4. There's lots of holes now, it's wholesome. But if I can get knight on f6, okay, so Check. I'll try and get this. All Check. right, so Check. you should just take that apparently. Not fair, this position. There's a lot of fear involved here. So that, yeah, that's actually a good move. Bishop takes c6. I actually found a good move to just play rook h2. And now, okay, he should play bishop g4 apparently. Okay, so he takes there. And now it's kind of almost, it's not as bad. This bishop d5, a good move? Yeah. Okay, I was thinking about e6. Oh, he just takes. If I take here, takes. Check. check. King h7, end of the game. So the evaluation is not too Check. terrible here. Yeah. It's, it's gone to zero after all that. Now it's done for black again. Now it's actually almost tension. Yeah, now it's actually okay for me. What do we say the exchange there? Is that a good move? Rook uh, 94 mentioned. Yeah, this looked good. Knight takes g5, yeah, if, then if he took on c5, knight e6. Check. 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 Yeah. Um, not clever. And then he blunders. Check. The fork, 14 seconds. Blunders. Check. Okay, fun game. Comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks so much.